You are scared to death. You're an asshole. That's lovely. I mean, what are you doing in your life that is so terrific? My life is fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You don't know about me. Yeah. I know all about you. You know, inside. bullshit. Why are you going to shout? Excuse me, uh, can we have two coffees here? Sorry, so? So, so what? So, tell me. Genius? No, thanks. So, uh, what was it like? You know, a lot of money, Tucson, Mexico City, Bogota, drifting, you know, okay? Okay. It got twisted and ugly and empty. It was over already, but we kept moving through the moves. It ended very badly. Now, I get up in the morning, I take a shower, I go to work, I have a job, I have a social security card, and my life is very ordinary, very boring, which is good, because it's solid. You're marking time is what you are. You're backing off, you're hiding out, you're waiting for a bus that you hope never comes because you don't want to get out in any way because you don't want to go anywhere, all right? Do you have a license for this? Yeah. All right, how much was he moving? Nothing to fill the end. And then kilo amounts. I don't I don't know. Well then what? He's dead. Hmm? He is dead. That is good because he's an asshole. There was a lot of love in the beginning. The guy was an asshole. There was love in the beginning. A big asshole. I mean, he puts you in a box. Uh, you, you know the kind of things they do to you ten times a day if you do a bit in Columbia? Do you? Jesus Christ! Don't shout in here. <laughs> I was alone. I had no money, no clothes, no visa, standing on the corner of Bogota and Columbia. Things did happen. Where were you in prison? Would you pass the cream, please? Don't be at the war. Whoa, God. Hey, can we some uh, new cream here? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's cottage cheese. Uh, the warden there was uh, Joe Regan, Meatball Joe. That slob was a penologist. I'm a jet airplane pilot. I did 11 years. I got out, what, four years ago? What'd you go up for? I stole $40. $40? Yeah. Started with a two-year bit, parole in six months. And right away, I got into this problem with these two guys. They tried to turn me out. So I picked up uh, nine more on, on a manslaughter beef, some other things. I was 20 when I went in, 31 when I come out. Uh, you don't uh, you don't count months and years. Uh, you don't do time that way. What do you mean? Why? Why? You gotta forget time. Uh, you gotta not give a fuck if you live or die. Uh, you gotta get to where nothing means nothing. I'll tell you a story all about it. Once there was this uh, Captain Morphus. This uh, three hundred pound slob. He couldn't write his name. And he had this crew of uh, 16 or 17 guards and cons and prison groups, you know, crews. They would uh, <clears throat> go into these cells and grab these young guys and bring them up to hydrotherapy in the mental ward, uh, gangbang. And if a guy puts up a struggle, they beat him half to death and he winds up in a funny farm. And Anyway, word comes down that I am next. And I do not know what I am supposed to do. I, uh, I'm scared. 11, 30, 12, uh, lights come on, and, uh, I got this pipe from, uh, from plumbing. And, uh, I whack the first, uh, guard in the shins, and I go through a convict and another convict, and anyway, I get to Morphus, and I whack him across the head twice. 
people, and then they jump all over me, do a bunch of things. I spend six months in the hospital ward, but uh, Morphus, he is also fucked up real good. Uh, cerebral hematoma, they pension him out. You know, he can't walk straight, and he dies two years later, which is a real loss to the planet Earth. Meanwhile, I got to go back into the uh, mainstream population. And I know the minute I hit the yard, I am a dead man. So I hit the yard, so you know what happens. Nothing. I mean, nothing happens. Because uh, I, I don't mean nothing to myself. I don't care about me. I don't care about nothing, you know? And then uh, I know from that day, that I survived because I achieved that mental attitude. And then, uh, <clears throat> see later, I, I worked this out. <clears throat> and um, stone cell on it. What is this? I mean, that is my life. Uh, and uh, nothing, nobody can stop me from making that happen. And uh, right there, that would be you. Who, who's the old man here? That is David Oakler Burton Old. He's a master thief, a master, and a great man. He's like, he was like a father. He taught me everything that I know about what I do, and I told him about you. Did you cut these out from um, magazines and... Yeah, newspapers, whatever. Wait, wait. All of these dead people. Inside, you are on ice from time. Uh, you can't even die right, you know, and here... Here, people grow, they get old, they die, children come after. Just a cycle, you know? I don't know. I... Yes, you do. You do. You don't know, you don't know from one day to the next whether you're going to be killed, go home, or get busted. Look, I have run out of time. I have lost it all. And so I can't, I can't work fast enough to catch up, and I can't run fast enough to catch up, and the only thing that catches me up is doing my magic act. But it ends, you know? It will end. When I got this right there, it ends, it's over. And so I'm just asking you to be with me. I can't, uh, I can't have children. I don't fit into this. Wow, that's, we adopt. I, I'm not ready. See, and, and I have my life, so I, I can't. What? I mean, what? What is going on in your life that is so terrific? Mine's been a mess. So I, was just, I was just thinking, you know, that just maybe between the two of us, that we can make something, something happen, something special, something really nice, you know? So I'm just, uh, I'm just asking you uh, to, uh, Look, and I got a way now that I, I can make it happen faster. I mean, much, much faster. And um, I'm just, I'm just asking you. 